discussion axiom TV. I'm your host, Tom Burritt. This is episode number four, and today's axiom really has to do with uh, the basics, really. You know, people talk about it all the time, the fundamentals. Um, today we're going to get into just a series of exercises that really allow us to analyze and discuss and experiment with sound and tone production. Uh, on my website, my front page, I will uh, upload a PDF file that you're welcome to download and take with you, copy it, use it for whatever you want to use, because uh, uh, the next series of episodes will focus on that sheet. And I'm going to just take you through um, really what I think uh, goes into uh, a really good marimba sound. Okay? you also notice that a lot of these concepts will transfer to other percussion instruments, but we're going to utilize the keyboard mainly uh, using these. So, you know, every great musician, uh, you know, I think has a real distinct sound or tone to them. And uh, undoubtedly most of them, or all of them, really work hard on that. And that's very true of the work I've been doing over the past several years. You know, and as I, as I travel around and talk with students and interact with them, um, I find they have such a, a, a thirst for how they can sound better. And a lot of the things I, I suggest to them, I think they're real interested in, and they often ask me, how can I get more access to some of your ideas, and you know, I don't really have a book yet, it's just too soon to really think about that, although that's something I want to do, but I'm really hoping to use this venue to get a lot of this out there, and uh, completely free of charge. All I ask is that you leave a comment after the show, because I'll have a question for you. Um, so, to begin, we we'll start some, with some very simple double vertical strokes. So take those resonators off when you work on these. I think you're going to find uh, some really interesting things out that way. So uh, it's a very simple exercise, but how I use it actually is quite complicated. So I'm thinking about a lot of different things. I'm going to go through these real quick so we don't get too long here. But the first one I'm going thinking about is my posture. Shoulders back, gut actually out a little bit, and then chin down, looking down this way. Okay. Knees bent about shoulder width apart. That's really important. I see too many players and students playing well over the keyboard. We always get our best tone when the mallets are as parallel to the keyboard as possible. The second thing I'm thinking a lot about is where I'm striking the bar. We'll talk more about this as we go along in future episodes. I like to stay a little off the center so I can utilize the edge of the bar on the upper manual. This allows my travel distance to be less. It is a harder spot to hit and nail. But if I practice them every day with these exercises, it finds its way into the way I play everything. Uh, the next thing I'm thinking about is about fluidity and relaxation of stroke. That is so important. Staying relaxed and using a fluid motion will minimize the attack of the mallet. Okay, we'll talk more about this as well in future episodes, but that is so important. If you come up and pull a mallet out of my hands when I'm playing this, it just comes right out of there. I'm only holding on as much as I need to. And that is a huge thing that I see in young students. There's just this huge clenchness going on. And that brings up the whole issue of tension. Tension will cause so many problems. Okay? And so we're going to leave that with today. You can practice that episode or that uh, exercise up chromatically and back down, thinking entirely about those three things. Posture, playing area, and relaxation and fluidity. I bet you'll be amazed at how little all three of those areas are happening. You want to do this as much as possible so this, uh, these three areas can become uh, second nature to your, your muscle memory. So it's just the way that you play everything. And so we do all that and also we're getting ourselves loose and warmed up for whatever piece we happen to be playing. So that's today's information, today's axiom. It's all about the fundamentals. Uh, this art of playing really requires this kind of attention on a daily basis and I try to do it as much as I can, because if I don't do it, the rest of my playing suffers. So, that's today's episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, today's uh, question is simple. When was the last time you heard two marimbas or two percussionists having an in-depth discussion about their tone?
Maybe you've never even had that discussion with anybody, you've never even heard of that, but I, if you have, I'd love to know more about that, so that's today's question. Enjoy the clip also from uh, part of the Victoria performance we did that I'll include at the end of the show. And until next time, thank you very much for watching.